Let's look at a pelvis tomosynthesis study. Let's start scrolling from posterior to anterior. At this level here, posteriorly, all the bones are blurred because we're at the level of the posterior soft tissues. As we move on forward, the spinous processes become sharp, as well as the sacrum and the coccyx. Look at the neural foramina here and the posterior most aspect of the right iliac bone. As we continue moving forward, these become blurred while the sacroiliac joints become sharp and also the ischial tuberosities. As we continue moving forward, now we can see the vertebral bodies sharp and the hip joints. Now we're also at the level of the greater trochanters. There is a lytic lesion here in the femur of this phantom and we can see very nicely the trabecula of the proximal femurs. As we continue moving anteriorly, we're losing the sharpness of all of those parts of the pelvis, but now the pubis symphysis and the superior ami are sharp because they are anterior.